my channel and today we are going to do an unboxing video since long time i had interest in astronomy but i never had a telescope of my own so i did some research on the internet as well as the videos available on the youtube and then i come across to a company known as a pagera which provides a star trek telescope so i ordered a telescope for myself star trek 114/900 equatorial mount 114 is its diameter and 900 is its focal length so this is the box which they have delivered it to me you can see this is the big box so without wasting any time let us start the unboxing so this is the box they have delivered you can see there is little bit damage on the box you can see the box along all the sides Inside this box, there is uh, another box. So you can see uh, there are two boxes. Like inside, I came across another box of packing. So let us unbox this now. guys i have to show you this so this is how the first look of the telescope so let us get this outside let us keep this aside you can see there are two boxes and this is the box you can see so now so now let us see how to open this third box inside so let us see. you can see till now i have unboxed the three covers still there is a one more box remaining let us unbox this now some manuals which i will read later okay the moon map then some tutorial how to assemble how does it function few more manuals and then some book about the star and their formation and then some photos interesting so i will keep this aside for a while then we will have a detailed look on what is actually inside all these booklets
now there are two three boxes inside this so i think this is uh, i can show you how they have given the photos what the object actually it is so you can see uh, inside also there are few more boxes which include the particular uh, item or you can say the particular part of the instrument so you can see this is a tripod and i think this is uh, eye pieces and this is the actual tube so let us unbox it one by one so let us get the tripod first outside so this is the tripod which you can see it is well covered i also finds one more paper let us see what it is oh this is a poster of a nebula ring i'm impressed so let us keep this aside let us keep this tripod aside you can see there are few more uh, little boxes i can show you i think this is a view finder and there are few more equipments uh, inside we will see those equipments one by one once we will unbox each and every i think this is a cleaning kit as well i think there is a cleaning kit inside this so let us keep this aside this is a ip tray this is the ip tray and there are few tools inside for the mounting purpose i believe so the good part that uh, they have also provided uh, a picture of what is inside this box i think these are equatorial weights this is very heavy this is our equatorial mount so you can see the picture over here and the final part is the tube so there is also protection has been provided for the tube so that it cannot jerk inside uh, uh, this box so it has mounted over here so this is the tube guys this has been closed from the both the end so i think while installing we can uh, remove those capping on both the side and then we will see that how does it function so let me pack this up i will uh, go through those uh, given manual how to mount this telescope and then i will get back to you so finally i have assembled this telescope uh, with connecting all its component and setting this up on the tripod so this is the first look of this telescope you can see from all the angles there is also branding of a star tracker onto this telescope 
I have not aligned this telescope uh, with its equatorial mount, uh, with location, with uh, adjusting the longitude and latitude. As currently it is a rainy season, so I cannot view the object uh, with a clear sky. Currently the sky is very cloudy. So I will definitely make another video in the future that how to mount and how to assemble this telescope onto the tripod with connecting all the components and definitely make another video for actually viewing the object uh, that how to align this telescope on the equatorial mount and how to see the objects in the clear sky. So in this video I will just walk you through uh, with the component which I have received along with this telescope. So to begin with I will start from the tripod. So this is a metal tripod which I have received along with this telescope. So this tripod is the adjustable tripod. So you can adjust the height of the tripod according to your need. There is an extension rod at the bottom of this uh, tripod and there is a screw which can be tightened and loosened according to your height uh, to adjust the height of uh, this tripod. So you can see uh, this is the extension rod uh, which has been provided along with this uh, tripod and you can actually adjust the height of the tripod with help of this screw. After the tripod, uh, there is a counterweight. This weight is helpful to balance the telescope on the equatorial mount so that your viewing angle can be adjusted according to your longitude and latitude without impacting or unbalancing the weight of the tripod along the side. After the counterweight, uh, there is an equatorial mount uh, that is the actual mount head. This mount head uh, come along with the two uh, direction that is the right ascension and the declination angle. So right ascension has been divided into the 24 equal number of units which is our 24 hours. Uh, and the declination has been divided into the 90 uh, equal units at the upper end 90 plus 90 and minus 90 count to the 180 and the lower side also the same plus and minus 90 which count total 360 degrees. After the uh, mount head uh, let's uh, see the finder scope. This finder scope is not a fix. You can remove the finder scope with help of screw which has been provided at the top of this tube. There is also screw to adjust the viewing angle of this finder scope so that you can point the object exactly at the center by adjusting the screws. This finder scope is not a battery operated. It, it is a normal finder scope but yes it has the cross sign inside its lens so that you can actually center the object when you are trying to view uh, and align your telescope with the viewfinder. Then you can see the actual tube uh, itself. This, this tube is having the eyepiece assembly. The eyepiece assembly is being provided with the additional accessories. There is a 2x Barlow lens has been provided and then 1.5x erecting eyepiece also has been provided along with this telescope. Apart from this Barlow, they have provided me the three lenses which is a 10mm lens, the 4mm lens and one additional 25mm lens has also been provided along with this telescope. Then let's come to the actual uh, telescope. Uh, this is the actual telescope tube which is mounted with the help of this mount ring. This mount ring is having hinges at the back of this uh, mount ring and these hinges can be adjusted with the help of screw which is mounted on the top of this ring. So you can insert the tube inside this mount ring and you can adjust it and tighten it according to the alignment. So this is it with the actual basic component uh, explanation uh, or the overview of this telescope. Additional to this uh, equipment they have also provided with me some documents and manual and the maps uh, with respect to viewing and observing the sky. I will walk you through all these manuals. 
so these are the few instruction manuals then a few maps and the booklets and the informative uh, books which has been provided along with the telescope so i will walk you through uh, each one of uh, the material which i have got along with the telescope so this is the instruction manual this instruction manual is uh, giving you the information that how to set up the uh, telescope with both equatorial type 1 and type 2 mount so this is a very good uh, informative uh, content which you can refer while you are assembling your telescope it will uh, give you a clear view and the instruction of how to set up your assembly also it will help you uh, with the pointing your telescope that how to point your telescope with the celestial pole and etc so before you uh, actually start mounting of your telescope i will recommend you to go through this manual after this manual there is another instruction manual has been provided which is a user guide uh, for the astronomical uh, telescope so this basic information is about uh, the different type of telescope and different type of mounts and using how to use your telescope so basic idea that what type of uh, component uh, the telescope has and what the use of uh, each and every object to understand the basic uh, of the telescope after that uh, this is a very thorough document which has been provided this is actually a moon map so i will zoom out for the better viewing so you can actually see uh, this moon map this is the whole area of the moon uh, with the details of its crater its mountain and its region across the moon so whenever you start observing the moon uh, with your telescope you can actually refer to this map and you can understand that which type of object you are viewing and which area of the uh, moon is belong to which type of uh, the craters and which type of mountains all the map uh, has been named uh, with respect to the details on to the moon also there is some more information as you can zoom in also there is a more information as you can zoom into uh, this they have also provided a uh, few man landing sites uh, their name has been mentioned across this map so you can view those man landing sites when you are observing through your telescope also the unmanned surface uh, those the probes which has been landed onto the moon their location has also been shared over here and then few other objects which you can see the translation and their actual name so you can view those objects according to your viewing angle onto the moon by referring to this map so it will be very helpful to observe the moon with uh, using this map actual so i like this uh, information apart from this uh, they have given us another set of uh, information so this is the newtonian collimination tool which has some information about aligning the primary mirror and then aligning the secondary mirror etc so if you are interested to understand the newtonian telescope then you can refer to this document these are two interesting uh, photographs they have shared so this is actually a uh, 1110 uh, messier deep sky photos they have provided so you can see those photos so uh, don't be confused like these this is the things which are actually you are going to view from your telescope no these are very high definition photo which has been uh, 
taken with the very high resolution telescope and very high resolution uh, camera capture so don't expect that our telescope is going to give you a view of this type of uh, viewing or this type of color images but yes you can uh, actually uh, see and actually uh, find that okay these type of objects are available in the sky uh, for the viewing their name and uh, their viewing type has been given uh, with the great uh, resolution pictures and these uh, two types of like a messier object and the deep sky object like uh, 109 deep sky objects are there and 1110 messier objects are there they have also provided the catalog the actual sky map uh, for these two type of objects so you can refer this sky map uh, while you are observing uh, through your telescope and you can locate each type of object uh, which they have mentioned at the back of this catalog so you can refer this catalog again you can correlate these uh, pictured photograph onto the object which is being mentioned on this catalog so these these four documents are helpful for you to get the actual view and locate it on the sky map after that uh, there is one interesting uh, dial which they have given which is a star watcher which is a sky watcher star dial so this is a dial you can see that you just can move this dial there has been a uh, month which has been given at the top of this ring and this is the viewing angle of your longitude and latitude so according to your local time that is ltm or the standard time you have called calculated you can just align this dial with the facing north south east and west uh, direction and then you can use this dial and the timing which they have mentioned along this dial and with the help of the month you can actually see at what time which object can be seen from your location if you are able to calculate your local mean time and longitude and latitude so this is a very helpful document which i believe observing your sky with the ease and the last uh, they have provided uh, one edmund map file catalog so this is a very informative document so this document actually explain you the basics of the astronomy so you can see the picture along with their explanation onto this uh, booklet so you can actually know that what is the right ascension what is the declination and how the earth has been aligned and how the coordinates has been calculated uh, with respect to your longitude and latitude so this will explain you in all details of the calculation and the formulas and how how the each component in the equatorial mount uh, is being used for example the what is celestial sphere then what is the right ascension then what is the equatorial mount what is the declination what is the equi equinoxes then star names so this this booklet also give you uh, the observing hint how to calculate your local time uh, according to your location converting the standard time into uh, local mean time and the local mean time into the standard time so all formulas um, and the calculation has been provided with the uh, good pictures uh, the maps and the tables they have already calculated uh, the local mean time longitude and latitude with the help of the formulas they have given and the right ascension and the declination map of the area then you can select the object which they have uh, given in the table this table uh, is having the star names and their direction that is longitude latitude and degree and the place when you can view this object with the right map and you can calculate your own uh, degree and own time according to your place and you just can view the object based on the information and the calculation they have explained 
Apart from that, uh, they have also uh, given the information that how to use this map. They have explained that uh, with the calculation that uh, and the formula that how to calculate your rat ascension and the local time. And you can actually view this map with mentioning your standard time or the your daylight time onto this map. If you are able to calculate, then you can just do this exercise like 5-6 exercise they have given according to the map which is visible so for example if you wanted to view the andromeda uh, galaxy then you can calculate your local mean time according to the formula they have given you can mention that time onto this map and on that particular time you can observe the andromeda galaxy with this map so there are five to six exercises they have given And few more information how uh, to find the objects with uh, tracking uh, with help of your equatorial mount. So there is some explanation and some pictures we have given which will help you. And this is the star position uh, of 1970. So basically the star position uh, get out of date in the 40 year. So this table would have been out of date in 19. Uh, is of 1970 and would have get expired in 2010 maybe but yes you can refer this and calculate your own degree of magnitude and uh, the position into the right assertion and the declination and this is the smaller version of uh, the moon map which you can refer while viewing the moon they have given the mountains and the crater information so that you can view the object onto the moon when you are observing through your telescope so this is uh, the basic information they have given so this is it with guys if you find the information which i have provided you uh, for the star tracker 114 slash 900 mm telescope then you can put your thoughts in the comment box if you have any further question, if you have any further query, then also you can ask your doubts and the question in the comment box. If you like today's video and if you want some more video like this, then you can press the like button. So we will meet again with another video. Till then, stay blessed, stay connected.